Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So yeah, I'm not gonna do any vegan reaction kind of videos today, my usual thing. As I do from time to time, I show you some of my basketball one-on-one -on -one games. And yeah, I'm still playing basketball, going to the gym twice a week, working out here in my home gym the rest of the time. And um, yeah, I've played lots of one-on-one -on -one games since my last video. Not really particularly against any great or super challenging players, but that all changed about a week or so during the winter break. Um, some of the um, high school basketball players were, were um, not at school, so I got a chance to play them at the gym, and I got this great opportunity to play a really good high school basketball player, stars on his team. He's not too much shorter than me. I think he's about 6'2", so I couldn't use all my height advantage too much on him. But these guys are fast guys. Remember, I'm 55 years old. These guys are, are high school players, about 30 pounds lighter than me, super quick. So this is gonna be a great challenge to see how well I can keep up with these super speedy players. All right, some one-on-one -on -one here with a real baller. What's yeah. your name? Kingston. And you play you play organized ball, right? You're a real uh, hooper, huh? Me, yeah. All right, cool. Well, um, how old do you think I am? 30. 30. All right, got that, guys. And how old are you? 16. 16. Wow. Okay, guys. I got my work cut out for me. That's how it goes. All right, so we're going to play one on one. Um, two points if you score from outside the arc there, and one point if you're within. First person to 11 wins. So already, <laughs> he's quick, and I, he, fortunately he missed that wide open shot. Sometimes it's the best thing you can do, is just stand there and hope they you know get freaked out with all the freedom and no defensive pressure. Anyway, we're not having... Neither of us are having our, our, the best shooting days of our lives here, so it could have been a much different game if, if either of us or both of us were on. Anyway, I faked the outside shot. All right, first to score, one to nothing. It's giving me a lot of space, so I'm going to take the shot, and it's just not going down like I'd like it to today. But anyway, I got to play tight D, and look at that speed. Got right past me, so I got to figure out a way to not let that happen again. So one to one, we're tied. All right, so I'm right on him right now. Not giving him any space, and I'm gonna force him to take a tough shot, and it works out. That's my goal, is to make them take tough shots. Any, any opponent, that's my goal, tough shots. All right, so I got my first outside shot. I am up 3-1. It's giving more space. Not putting a hand up, I'm gonna shoot again. <laughs> I got really lucky there. All right, 5-1. It's always good not to play from a deficit, so. Uh, the outside shot's warming up a little bit. I'm gonna try to work him on the inside here. Do a little drop step, and, all right, 6-1. Nice little lead against Kingston here. All right, so now I'm gonna try, see if my shot's hot, and it's not too flat. All right, so 6-1, me. So look at my D, I'm just pressuring, I'm pressuring him to, into a, ooh, that should have gone down. I got lucky there. Okay, still 6-1. Let's see if I can get anything going here. He's giving me the space, but, um, all right, 7-1. Wow, it's just going to be a quick game. We'll see. All right, so I'm working out of what's called the triple threat position here. He doesn't know if I'm going to dribble or drive or pass. You can't pass on 101. But anyway, uh, again, I'm going to work into the inside, and I missed that one. Okay, let's see if Kingston can get hot, because he's a really good player. He's really athletic. I saw him slam dunking that day, too. Um, he's, you know, he's a good opponent. He's just not looking like the greatest player at this moment, but trust me, he's really good. Alright, so, um, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm still trying to play with him like a chess game here. If I jumped, I would have made that one, but still, 7-1, and Kingston's going to get going. Let's see, he's trying to do some good dribbling work there, and, um, I closed out that jump shot. And I'm lucky, I'm still ahead 7-1. Because there's like three shots he should have made. They should have went down. The ball is halfway down. Look at all the space he's given me. So if anyone gives me that much space, I'm going to shoot it. Just, I didn't make it. That could have been 9-1. Just telling you, neither of us are really hot right now. Anyway, um, let's see. Ooh, nice shot. See, I was on him, I closed out. But yeah, he made a good shot there. In fact, I think he shoots better. I told him this when he has someone in his face. Ooh, another one. He's on his way. So now he's got um, four. So it's seven, four. Hand in the face. Ooh, he could have made that one too. All right, so now let's see if I can close the game out. I just need, what, like three more, three or four more baskets. And uh, <laughs> that was horrible. I'm all yelling, and I tried to shoot that just without even 
like getting my my feet shoulders width just they were too close together anyway hand up see I'm just making them think and yeah good shot good shot all right so what is it now seven six he's catching up I got lucky there should have made that one okay let's see if I can make a bucket final it's been a few minutes so I'm gonna try to back him in here but as you'll see here he knew my move he was waiting for my my drop step spin usually I make this shot on everyone he was right there his hand is right where the, I released the ball all right so again this, this is my thing playing D here trying to make him take some tough shots fade away jump shot I'll let most people shoot that that is really hard all right so I believe it's still 7-6 I'm just barely up by a point here just kind of reading the D. He's going to give me all sorts of space here. And I'll shoot from downtown there. And I make these often, but not there. That looked bad. Trust me, that's a shot I practice all the time. Because most people think I can't shoot from way out there. Okay, just stay in front of him. Stay on my tippy toes. Don't get flat-footed. And, ooh, <laughs> that shot should have gone down. So again, I'm just reading the D. He's giving me a ton of space. And I'm gonna shoot again from outside and <laughs> from downtown. I'm not making them. I'm just kind of laughing like what's up? These are shots I make. Look at that speed. Nothing I can do there other than don't let that happen again. I wasn't ready. Yeah, just make his life tough. Let him take that shot with some pressure and... Okay, here we, here we go. He's giving me a ton of space and I know I'm not gonna miss all my shots. Again, I'm just gonna keep shooting and finally it goes down. Nine to six. Let's see if I can get a little run here. So I just need two one-pointers. I don't even need to shoot from the outside now. So I'm not even going to take that risk. I'm going to play it safe. And just try to get some easy buckets close up here. Alright, 10. It's game point. 10-6. Again, he's giving me all this space. I think he's daring me to shoot there. No, and I don't need to take that shot. But I'm going to go left. I haven't been... I haven't, I haven't really too many buckets going to my left. And game point there. 11-6. Oh man, thank you, Kingston. I'm totally like work, man. You like, you, like took every ounce of energy out of me to, to get that win. It was a good game, though. A good game. <laughs> so I've been telling my age. All right. 55. Really? Yeah. What do you think? That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Work out almost every day, so that keeps me going. And um, I specialize, you know, more more so defense. How, how, how do I how do I do on defense? Oh, that was great. Good defense. Even for like a 16 year old. Yeah, kept up with my speed. That's what I was trying to do, yeah. That's why I really want this good workout. Thank you so much. And I'll, I'll give you on my, my YouTube channel. You can check it out probably next week. All right, thank you, Kingston. Of course. So that was a really fun game. And if you're watching Kingston, just so you know, I was exhausted maybe three or four, maybe five days after that game. It literally took everything I had, every ounce of energy I had to get that win and just play so hard and just try to stay in front of his his quick speed. I mean, this is cool. I'm, I'm excited that I can still like hang with these young quick players at my age. Speaking of which, yeah, I've been training also for slam dunking and over the holiday break, I threw this slam dunk down so anyway guys i'm not making this video to brag or anything i'm just showing you what i'm doing here as a 55 year old vegan you know supposedly totally deteriorating and deficient and falling apart yet playing basketball at a pretty high level both in a competitive sense and even slam dunking at this advanced age of mine so just just letting you guys know that going vegan doesn't totally suck or anything like that so anyway thanks for watching guys if you enjoy these kind of videos let me know down in the comments i don't make them too often i think it's been like maybe three or four months since I did a basketball video so let me know what your thoughts are and you know any ideas for me as far as making more basketball videos I'm all ears so anyway guys hit like share this video subscribe become a channel member and until next time remember doesn't suck being vegan